Welcome back, guys. So one question that I get quite frequently is, how do I soften a hard line if I want to place it on a t-shirt? I don't want to place a box on a t-shirt. And so one way that we can do that is by adding a grunge border. Now, this is a design that I had created earlier. It is a baseball poster. If you want to try and recreate this design, uh, totally not related to this tutorial at all, I will place the link in the first comment uh, of this video. But for today, we're going to take a design and you can take your design too and follow along. And we're going to create a grunge border around this design so that you can take it and place it on a t-shirt or anywhere else. So we're going to go into the elements section and in the elements section, we're going to get a search bar in here. We're just going to type grunge border and you're going to get a whole bunch of different grunge borders. I'm going to go into graphics specifically and I'll say see all. And uh, you can definitely use one of these, but the best thing to do is to actually find a border like this right here and then turn it white. So change the color to white. And we're going to take this and we're going to put it along the border on the bottom. We'll take a copy and we'll bring it up top here and then we're going to flip it. We're going to grab another copy. I'm going to rotate this to 90 degrees and I don't know about you, but I always have a problem of rotating to 90 degrees, but I'll put that there and just stretch it out a little bit like that. I'll take another copy and I'll just bring it over here and I'm going to flip this. To that side and here we have a grunge border let me zoom in so that you can take a look at that now one thing to note is that of course this white border is not transparent so just this is only part one of the step to creating a grunge border OK, and you also you want to make sure that the that grunge um, border outline is actually at, uh, covering all of your design. You don't want any lines showing through from your original design. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to go to share and we're going to download this design. So I'm going to download. I only want page one and I want a PNG. It doesn't matter if I make it transparent because there's nothing in here that's going to be transparent because of that outline. It's fully covered with elements this design. So saying transparent isn't going to make a difference. Let's go to done and download that page one load. I'll create another page and while that's downloading, I'll grab it and I'll bring it back into my workspace. Let's change the color of the background now. I'm going to change it to this gray color. And again, you're going to notice that it's got that white border. So it's still like this harsh line, even if you do put it on a t-shirt, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this and we are going to remove the background. Now that didn't go the way that I expected. It removed everything. And this might happen to you. So I'm just going to select the undo button and I'm going to go into edit instead. And I'm going to go into magic grab and I'm going to grab everything except for that border. So I'll just select everything. In fact, I'll just use the brush. So I'll just brush. over everything that I want, including the men, and I'll say grab. Okay, so here it is right here. Let me get rid of that gray box. And here is our design. 
and now it's got that grunge border that's transparent. So now we can go over to share and we can download this as transparent and then you'll have a design that you can um, place on a t-shirt either using DTF or sublimation. Now I've also got a whole bunch of different frames, Canva frames that are drag and drop that you can use if you don't want to go through all of uh, these steps. Uh, here is one of my frames right here and we can um, extend it, uh, either make it taller or we can make it wider, whatever you like. And so let me go back to my uploads and grab my original image. Here it is right here. Now, one thing to note is that this frame, I did put a border on it, a black border, but um, you can have a border or you can not have a border uh, and you can make it any color that you like as well. But right now I took the border off and now we're going to grab our image and we're just going to just slip it right in like that. So that's what that would look like with my Canva drag and drop frame. Now I have a whole bunch of frames on my digital shop and I will leave this frame. It's actually part of a set uh, in the first comment as well. If you want to take a look at my shop and grab this frame, but that's not necessary. You still can manually do it if you follow the steps that I showed you and you'll get something like this one over here on our third page. Usually the background remover does work. Um, it didn't work this time, um, but usually it does. And if it doesn't, you can use magic uh, edit to grab the parts that you want. Okay. I hope that you learned something in this tutorial. If you did, press that like button, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on. And if you want to learn about my live classes, ask me in the comments and I'll give you more information. If there's anything else that you want to learn, I also have a tutorial request form that is in the description of this video that you can use to request a tutorial. All right, guys, for now, I'll say bye-bye until next time.